What's up guys? I'm Dr. Lindsay, a small animal veterinarian, and today we're gonna to talk about the only recreational drug that we give our pets, and that is catnip. And we're gonna talk about what catnip is and how to use it. <laughs> First off, I want to thank PetMeds for sponsoring this video. PetMeds is America's most trusted pet pharmacy. They not only carry pet medications, but they also carry pet products like toys, leashes, dog crates, dog beds, dental care products, and they also have pet articles for pet parents and they have live veterinary chats available. I'm gonna put the link in my description below so you guys can go shop online at PetMeds.com. They also carry catnip that you guys can pick up for your cats. So what exactly is catnip? So catnip is from a plant called Nepeta cataria, which has stalks, bulbs, and lavender flowers, which is a shrub in the mint family. It was first native to Europe and Asia, but now grows wildly across the United States and can even be found growing along highways. Catnip also affects our large cats, like lions, tigers, and leopards. So don't get any bright ideas when you guys head to the zoo and make sure you don't have any catnip on you. So how exactly does catnip work? Cats get high by inhaling the plant's oil called nepetalacetone. So I'm not opening this jar right now because one whiff of it will have its effects on Stanley. Catnip can be inhaled from a live plant a dried plant, or the oil extract itself. The chemicals bind to receptors inside the cat's nose, which stimulate sensory neurons leading into the brain. In the cat's brain, catnip affects the olfactory bulb, the amygdala, which controls the perception of emotions, fear, or excitement, and the hypothalamus, which controls the body's hormones, hunger, thirst, and also regulating emotional responses. When a cat inhales catnip, they begin to roll their face into where the catnip is. Roll on the floor, flip around, some drool, and they seem to have a sense of euphoria when they're doing it all. And then afterwards, they seem to be calm. Catnip's excited phase lasts about 15 minutes, followed by a chill, buzz, and calm phase that can last 30 minutes to an hour. So can you give them more catnip after this? And the answer is no. Cats become immune to catnip and it will no longer work that day. And a question I get as a veterinarian is, can too much catnip harm your cat or can cats overdose on catnip? And the serious answer is yes. Too much catnip can cause health problems in cats, such as uncomfortable vomiting, diarrhea, dizziness, or having trouble walking. Use just a little at a time and increase the amount of catnip depending on how your cat handles it. So at what age can you give your cat catnip? Kittens may not react to catnip. They may not even react until they are six months to a year old. Lastly, one more question. How often should you give your cats catnip? And the answer is you should only give it to them about once every two to three weeks. Wow, mind blown, right? You would think you could give it to them every day, but it's actually not really good for them. So as cute as it is seeing them in their euphoric state rolling around on the floor, you should limit giving your cats catnip to only a once in a while thing. All right guys, thank you for watching this video on catnip. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up to help this video circulate to more pet parents. And hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications for when I post more videos. And if your cats do cute things when you give them catnip, make sure to put that in the comments below. I'd love to read it.